I talked to Ralph, but he's he's working with COVID. I understand. Patients. I just wanted you to say good things about Ralph. And well, talk, and I think everybody in the room knows Ralph Miller, Miller, and he's got an award, and I'll let the judge read it as soon as he gets it. And uh, one of the highest awards there is in the state for a medic, so to speak. Ain't that right, Ellen? And he's one of the few, if I remember right, he's one of the few in Ohio County to get that. Am I correct? No. Ralph is the only person in the state of Kentucky to get this. There you go. So, yes. yeah, and, uh, we're lucky to have it. Yeah, okay. And I think you covered it pretty good. And and I think if you see Ralph, I think you should uh, congratulate him because that is a big honor for him. Uh, also, this week, we've heard that, uh, that our sheriff's office has uh, received a, an accreditation. Okay, let me go back to Ralph still. I know I, if I, I've got it. Okay. We'll read Ralph's first. As some may be aware, Ralph Miller has been selected as a 2021 Rural Kentucky EMS Provider of the Year, an award sponsored by the Kentucky Office of Rural Health and the Kentucky Board of Emergency Medical Services. This award recognizes someone who works or volunteers at a rural Kentucky EMS service and who demonstrates exemplary pre-hospital pre care and a dedication to the community. Ralph has worked with the local EMS service for nearly 25 years now and is very deserving of this reward award. Also, Ralph works as a volunteer in addition to his, this job as a fireman and a uh, uh, medic uh, for the fire department as well. Also this week, the Sheriff's Office got an accreditation uh, for the Kentucky Association of Chiefs of Police by the Kentucky Sheriff's Association, making the first time the OS, OCSO has ever reached accredited status. It was an achievement that took the agency 30 months to accomplish. The Kentucky Association of, of Chiefs and Police Accreditation Program provides Kentucky law enforcement agencies an avenue to demonstrate they meet commonly accepted standards for efficient and effectively effective operations. Uh, they did many things to prepare for this and they've got it. Uh, that tells us that we have a very well trained and dedicated uh, uh, police force and sheriff's office in our county that we should be happy with, very happy with that and very pleased that uh, we have the best uh, ambulance protection and the best uh, sheriff's department protection that we can have and so I think we ought to be very proud to live in uh, Ohio County Kentucky where we have all that and yes we do have a good coroner's office too <laughs> but it, you didn't get an award this time uh, I, I'll keep working on it okay okay we're proud of you sure not uh, before you it's a September the 14th minute I need a motion to approve so move. motion Sam Small second second with Joe Barnes any discussion, corrections, or additions to the minutes? Discussion, corrections, or additions to the minutes? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Holds like sign. Minutes are approved. Before you have the bill, payments <coughs> and transfers, including a late list. Make the motion to accept. Motion by Jason Bolt. Second. And, and second by Sam Small to uh, approve the minutes of the of the uh, September 14th meeting. Is there any discussion? Any discussion or questions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Post like sign. The bills and claims are uh, approved. And the clerk's uh, August 2021 financial report. Make a motion by let Joe Barnes to acknowledge the receipt. Second. Second by Sam Small. Is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Post like sign. Motion uh, approved. Financial report is, is uh, we have it. We're saying we acknowledge we got it. Um, we have two budget amendments. One is the one you've done the last meeting. 2022-3, uh, second reading, need a motion to approve that. So, motion by Larry Camp. 
Second by Sam's mom. Is there any discussion on that? That's the one we did before. 2022 3 3 Yes. Second reading. Okay, uh, roll call that, Miranda. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Count? Yes. Small? Yes. Okay, the next one, this is a new one. Ordinance 2022-4. For the first reading, and go ahead and explain what that one is. Uh, the million dollars is for the CDBG grant that Jody has obtained, and the second one for eighty-seven thousand is a USDA flood control grant that Charlie has obtained. And what is that? Is that for? What is that for? The eighty-seven thousand. Well, the eighty-seven is for the river gauge here in Hartford. Oh, for Hartford. Okay. Yeah, we got there where Farm Bureau paid a bunch of money on it. And we got the grant, and we extend that for another six years with it. Free money. So I'll make a motion. Motion for Sam's mom. A second. Second by Joe Bond. Is there any discussion or questions? Thing that wrote down. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Count? Yes. Small? Yes. Uh, this one. Yes. Numbers like three. Now, uh, I think we need to have a, a closed session. Hope it's not, don't keep y'all waiting too long. We're going to ask Jody to join us. And uh, if we get through this door, we'll go back here. If not, somebody go around and unlock. So we'll 61 8 10, second. chapter. Motion, Larry. Second, C. Joe. Larry, Joe. Got it. On favor, say aye. Aye. I make a motion. We we'll go back in. Second. Everybody, everybody, uh, in favor, have a seat. I will tell you, we did not conduct or do any uh, voting or any of that kind of business in there. We discussed uh, uh, economic development things. Uh, so now then, we have to, uh, uh, Sam. Yep, I make a motion uh, to pass a resolution 2022-16 uh, to apply for a production development initiative grant for $300,000 and for Jody Ashby to be the contact. Second. Uh, any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Hold like sign. Motion carried. Uh, we're going to move something up the up a little bit. We're going to talk about the uh, uh, amendment to the administrative code. It's on page 19 of the administrative code, section B. Hey, we got another. Was there three? Three papers. No, the first one was the. It's actually the 50/50 on the PDI grant. I just didn't hand it to you earlier, so I can give it to you. So we had three papers. I was looking at just three papers, two papers. Do you need a motion to accept the changes to the administrative code? I do. I'll make a motion to accept the changes to the chapter seven of the uh, administrative code in section one B. Page 19. Yeah. And what it does is to. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I have to make the motion you second because it's not genuine. Okay, I'll second it. Okay. To, uh, uh, in, in, a, uh, in our thing where it said you, all full time positions uh, must have a uh, high school diploma or a GED, we change that to actively or be actively seeking one and to further to further uh, lay it out, those employees working the through, through the GED or high school uh, equivalent will have one year to obtain either. The OIK Fiscal Court may consider extending the time if the employee has made substantial progress and continues to actively seek the GED or higher school 
and proof of the activity and progress at the end of one year. HR will monitor the, monitor the participation and progress at least quarter. And by the way, we have the adult ed right next to this building. It'll be real easy for them to uh, take all their classes and to participate there because it's right next to them. And I don't know if we're doing the one-up program, but I don't know if this is something, because I know the CDL license we talked about, we pay you the first two tests. Maybe this is something to kind of help somebody out and not put them in a financial, but we'll pay the first, their first test. I think so. And this is, we will have, this is called the first reading. So uh, uh, go ahead and roll call it. Let me have okay. just a little bit yeah, of yes, yes, sir. I've always believed, and we went through this ordeal years or ago about uh, yeah, not hiring an individual with, uh, didn't have a GED. But it's been my firm belief that experience is knowledge. And if a gentleman or lady, either one, uh, has the experience and has the knowledge to do the job, I, I don't see where that him having to have a GED or whatever to perform his job. Uh, we don't know his circumstances was when he was growing up. He, he may have to go work at an early age or whatever. And I'm certainly not going to hold anything against an individual until I walk a mile in his moccasins and see what kind of life he's led. But the, the point I want to make is the experience is not any way you shape it. And that's all I got. Okay, roll call this, and I'm sorry we're out of order again here, but we're going to do this first. Pull up? Yes. Barnes? Uh, no, I think we should just drop it completely. Johnston? Yes. Cowan? You give him a year to do it, then after a year, if That's he... what I'm worried about. What do you do in a year? There's, There's, it, they have to be showing they're making progress. I think you'd be better off just to, to drop it from the admin code and just uh, well, that was progressively, uh, you know, have you know, and that push, was him. yeah, but push, nothing. Push, push him to you know, you know, you, try you, to get it and, and and open it up to everybody. But I just think that what the thing that you're going to do here is the monitoring and the and the the uh, extra checking and trying to get them to to get it is just going to. It's just one more step that we, don't, you know, we really don't need to, I, to I, do. I tell you what, if it's dropped all together, then HR and uh, whoever judge exactly at that time can review things, whatever job it is, and one at a time. And, and we so. talked about that. One person, I'm not naming, he didn't, he didn't want to drop it at the time. And, you know, that's the reason it kind of changed so we can. Well, I mean, uh, it's like Larry, if the, if, the, if the individual can do the job and, and it's got the background well, or the. We agree, but the thing I think is the one reason it went this years ago is that we're trying to be work ready and we're trying to, we had the point up program, trying to help people. Yeah, you I know. Just, I just think that, you know, I mean, that's good that you're wanting to. Yeah, you know, actually move them on up, but I think, you know, in the reality, what you're going to do is just one more step that you're monitoring them. And in a year, what are you really going to do with it if they weren't able to get it? Well, that was the question, too. And listen, I'm not, I'm just saying this is what was talked about. If that's what you guys decide to vote on, well, I'm not, that's, against, I'm not against uh, making a debate with doing the Guinness GED. I'm not against that whatsoever, and I'm not against the, and that would go even one or the help to pay for it. But uh, as, a, uh, as a requirement, I, I'm going to vote no on it, too. Okay, that's what we got. Well, we got another vote. Small. Yes. What does that give us? Count for me. Three, Three yes, two. two no. Three two. Three two. Three yes. And if you guys want to address this at a later time on something more like that, that's. I mean, we don't have to. Well, we don't have to. My thing is, is agree. I'm just telling We've either mind. held our ground with somebody that had one or didn't, and I don't want to be doing this progress over and over. I want to, you know. Well, I, I do believe, Jason, and I agree with you. If, you, if we'd have dropped it a year or so ago, well, we wouldn't even be in this situation. We wouldn't be discussing it tonight. Well, and I've kind of mentioned that, but like I said, that's uh, that's for a later meeting, I guess, because but anyway, the person I, that I'm, I'm, I'm open. That we, we'll have a second reading. I'm open that we'll we'll because <laughs> we can look into change some. But this does allow something. that person to go to work. To go work. Yeah. Yeah. And we want him to further his education if he wants to. But to say he's just, I don't know how old this gentleman is, but say he's 60 years old, he may be. And I have to eat it, and I'll just say it like this I'll be, it's broad in here. So, you know, so. <laughs> um, I 
Yeah, I'm sorry, I got out of order. I was supposed to win. Jody, Jody has the, the loans to prove. Oh, okay. So let's bring it back up and get them under her thing there. I'm sorry, Jody. And, That's all right. And everybody, get it, we've kind of gotten a fizz on, on this. Did you hand out the loan? I did. Okay. You guys have to have Go ahead and tell us that real quickly. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I've got the 396 off road first. That's uh, Jason Hoots as the applicant. Jason, you can come up here with me if you want to. Um, the loan amount requested is $36,000. The use of funds would be tools, equipment, working capital, and remodeling. Terms of the loan are seven years. Loan rate of 75% of prime, currently calculated 2.44%. Jobs created two. Jason, is it going to be more than two over time? Over time, yes. Okay. Uh, what was your time? Within the next couple of years. Okay. I mean, right so now it's going to be, I would say four max. So four employees total. Uh, total project costs, or total projected costs of the project is 72000 and they have already been approved through grad for twenty-five thousand of that equity of their own of eleven thousand dollars. The OCDA board has approved this loan with collateral being the tools and equipment purchased for the project, as well as the equity that already exists. I'm sorry. What did you say? That I, I didn't hear the very first part. What is the business? So this is a modification for side by sides, and Jason can tell you more about it if you'd like. It'll be the. The cages and you know working on side to sides like the players razors and can ams atvs and motorcycle repair parts accessories say new tires or you know just a basic oil change i didn't hear what she said oh. i was sorry well yeah. i didn't really go with that part okay. of it but there's a big demand for that there's a lot of racers and yeah. 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 I mean, we've, and, always, uh, we've always had to go to bowling green at Owensboro ever yeah. since i was a kid That's and the old sea the board's approved that's correct that is correct yeah no sea okay I don't and, and i'll make a motion I'll second the motion. The motion is second to approve this loan. Sam. Uh, do uh, allow me. Is there any further I guess discussion? allow Andrew to write the check, too. Any further discussion? No. Sounds like a good deal. You've got the motion in second, friends. <laughs> got it. Okay. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Hold like sign. So that carries. Now tell us about next. Uh -oh. Is there enough? Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next one is Tamerlane Industries, who you guys are all familiar with. Uh, Tamerlane had come to the judge and I, as well as Brad and some other uh, resources, um, a few months back and asked us about uh, their need for a new roof. Given that Tamerlane has a new uh, new operations manager, uh, general manager, what's your title? Director of Operations. Director of Operations. You can come up here, Rob, if you'd like. Uh, Rob Johnson, for those of you guys who haven't met him yet, he is the new Director of Operations for Tamerlane. They're only asking for $100,000 from us. Grad cannot do construction loans. We have that flexibility. They do not. Uh, so they could not participate in this loan. However, uh, the total cost of the project is $680,000 estimated. So $100,000 and they're paying the rest out of their own business income. Um, because we have the collateral of the 200,000 square foot building that is located at 846 South Main Street in Beaverdam, the last appraisal showing that it was uh, $2.1 million, was that correct? That's correct. $2.1 million was the last appraisal in 2015. Of course, with the new roof and, and the years that have passed, that's going to be higher than that. So it more than covers the, uh, the loan of $100,000, and they can also, they also cash flow for that loan. So. With all those things being said, the OCDA board decided that yes, this was a loan worth giving, so uh, we have approved that loan. And I'll make a motion. I'll second. Motion for Sam Small, second by Jason Bull. Rob did approve the Thomas, uh, the, the uh, Tamerlane Industries. Is Tamerlane on a little better uh, financial footing than they would, than they have been in the past? Yes, sir. Uh, this uh, this year uh, we're on track to track about 2.6. Uh, my hopes are next year we'll be able to increase that by another 30 to 40 percent. So you've had some other contracts and stuff come in and whatever. We are continuing to work on new contracts. Uh, my hopes are as we can get into some of the automotive industry in the next uh, 
12 to 18 yeah. months. Well, I know you guys a little bit shaky footing here at one time, but I want to wish you the best, and I don't have a problem with helping because I know they've needed a group out there for years. Yeah. Um, and Rob has also made a push for uh, Tamerlane to be established as a second chance employer. They already were a second chance employer, but really pushing that agenda uh, to help people who are uh, needing a, a leg up after they've been incarcerated or had drug problems and those sorts of things to get back into the workforce. So um, that's one of the reasons why we also wanted to do this one. Okay. No Jody, on, on this one right here, and I, and I wish them the best, but on the collateral, I mean, just, is that the building and the property? I, are, is there property with that? I just put the building Yeah, the building and the property. Uh, yeah. That's encased inside the fence. So it would be because the Because the front the part is. We'll put yeah. that in all the loan documents. I, have, right. I haven't drawn right. that up yet, but that is the last of the that, loan. That'll be incorporated into the uh, loan itself. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, no further questions. All in favor say aye. All right. Opposed like sign. That one's approved as well. Thank See, Rob, I'm going to ask you if uh, maybe every six months or at least every year, uh, come give us an update. Let us know how you're doing and, and get the publicity out there and, and let it be known. I would love to do that. Good. Call thank Miranda. You. She'll get you on the agenda and we'll be waiting for you. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank we you. wish you the best luck. We've helped them in the past several yeah. times. Mm -hmm. so. um, and they do good service. Yeah. yeah. They're good ones. Yeah. Yeah. Rob's old, too, because he went to school with me and I'm old, so. Yeah. Well, you guys are older than I am. I think I'm the only one here tonight that's older than you. Manning's his mom. Yeah, you've already turned to be 70, do Seventy, good gracious. Yeah. Oh, you're on. That's a lot of birthdays, I know. Uh, you're on. Uh, yeah. I've got two things. It's on the agenda. ARPA review. All that meant was I handed y'all those things out to be looking over. And I do plan to pull some of those up on a resolution to pass in the next meeting. And I'll be talking to y'all along. And there's still more money. That's that's not that's Ma longer. matter. Matter of fact, before the next court meeting at four o'clock, let's have a uh, let's have a uh, uh, committee meeting to go. Over well, we no, we are meeting uh, October eighth. Okay. Uh -huh. So if you guys have any any suggestions too while you're sitting here, you know, because I know Larry was talking about like get a hold of Ann or I, and we'll we'll run them by the, at the next meeting off October eighth. And that's because we we've still got a lot of projects we got to do. Yeah, it's uh, and I, I see the list here, uh, and it's uh, considerable. But is is there still some money uh, left over after making this list? Yeah, we haven't used half of it yet. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, like I said, there's still a lot. So if you've got projects, be yeah. Well, I was just looking at uh, possibly some equipment for. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Of course, you know we did we did have uh, uh, with theirs and, and the water tank already. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I think there's enough that we can mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Well, they're they're back over getting old. In fact, the court is up uh, through discretionary to uh, buy the last old back. Yeah. Like what it yeah, I think we, we can get them in there. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, but then we have two resolutions concerning the ARPA. Do you want to explain those, Ann? Well, number 11, our projects that you all have already committed to are in the works, uh, and that resolution needs to be passed. DLG suggested uh, with this ARPA money that the projects be listed as a resolution and passed by the court to ensure that the court was aware of what the money was being spent on. The resolution number 12 is just for you all to review, and that will be on the next court meeting. Okay, so we're not going to really do 12 tonight. We're going to do 11. That's on this committee. So, do I have a motion? And can this resolution, it can't be added to then for the next meeting, then number 12. Yeah, it's yeah they 12, can probably sure. be added to. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, do I have a motion to uh, pass the resolution 2022-11? I'll make that motion. Motion by Jason Bullock. No, what? And run that by me one more time. It's okay, the, the number 11. Our projects that we've already done, are you all have already approved. That's the first page. That was the road department equipment, the small business, the... Re-entry program. Yes, yes. Same seconded for discussion. Okay. Good. 
good deal. Uh, no. Second assignment. The now, 12, 12. And 12 will be your second sheet. Right. Yeah, and that we're that's just for your all's information tonight, <coughs> and at the next board meeting that will be presented. Okay, gotcha. And like I said, I think it can be if you had question, if you had something, yeah. it could be added to by the agent. Okay. Um, favor say aye. Or longer. Aye. Close black sign. That one passed. Uh, Je Justin, you're up. All right, Judge. Um, we got we were contacted by the hospital and. Again, with these uh, USDA loans, there's a number of resolutions I'm going to ask the, the, this court. So I'd like us to meet not only on behalf of Ohio County, but on behalf of the Ohio County Public Facilities Corporation that all of you are members on also, which owns the land that the hospital sits on. And so we have three resolutions that they've asked us to, uh, uh, to entertain and pass, uh, just uh, requirements uh, with respect to uh, uh, that they're known and, and what they need a security agreement and environmental mitigation resolution and and then more of a, a resolution on the amount i think it was 16.75 million seven sixteen uh yeah point seven hundred fifty thousand uh sixteen million seven hundred fifty thousand dollar loan i'll say it here in a minute uh, at some point but uh, for those three resolutions, so I just ask that uh, you entertain us to pass each one of those, uh, and it would be, again, as we've previously done, the judge executive would be signing as judge executive and Larry County's magistrate on behalf of the county, on behalf of the Public Facilities Corporation, it would be judge executive signing as the president and Larry County's the secretary treasurer. This just pushes the process on down the road. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, would, I would make a motion then on resolution 2022-13. Okay. I tell you what we got to do. Do we need to go okay. out of court? Hold that again, thought. We're, we're, we're uh, right just now, meet together. Be fine. Right now, the Ohio County Fiscal Court is in recess. I call to order the uh, Ohio County Public Facilities Corporation, which is us. Okay. Yeah. So you made and, and Larry made the motion. Yes. I second it. Second by Joe Bond. And we'll have to do this three times. This is for 2022-13. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, Opposed, like sign. That one Somebody else can have one. I'll make a motion uh, to the 2022-14 hospital bonds environmental mitigation. I'll second. Motion by Jason Bullock, second by Joe Barnes. And those will be separate minutes, of course you know that. Then you, yeah, you know how to do it. Okay, uh, any discussion? They none all favor say aye on that one. Aye. Uh, that motion carries. I make a motion for resolution 2022-15 loan security agreement. I'll second that. Motion by Sam Paul, second by Joe Barnes, to approve 2022-15 the loan security agreement for the hospital, and to uh, authorize the judge executive to sign the president and the uh, and the secretary. I, I, I kind of like this gig better though. <laughs> You know, mm -hmm. he said as the president now. You do? Oh. <laughs> and you move up. Yeah. So, uh, all right. Uh, did we did we vote on that, Miranda? Yes. Okay. We're oh, no, sorry. No, no, no. All in favor say aye. Aye. Holds like sign. That carried. Now then, we are back into the I think this court meeting. And, and we'll actually, as a precaution, because I don't want them to come back and say, well, the county needed to do the same thing also. We need to do the same thing, approve the same resolutions. So just approve Magistrate, I, I make motion to approve 2022-13 hospital bond. Oh, I'll second. Hold the thought. Can you We're just, doing it twice. Well, could you just... We're, we're doing we the same, same, two can we use the same people? Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, when I'm recording this, it's going to be the same okay. one with the same names, or are we going to do the same... One within twice. those resolutions, they say Ohio County Public Facilities Corporation and, and Ohio okay. County. Same one conference. twice, only once in the minutes. It, yes. Okay. Okay. Do we get a second on that? Go ahead. I, I need a motion. I'll I'll second. Second. I think Sam motion. Sam, Sam motion. Joe second. All in favor say aye. Aye. like sign. Motion on resolution 20.2 days 12. No, no. 13. Uh, 20, 14. 14. I'll say hard. Uh, second by Joe Barnes. <laughs> First by Larry Camp, second by Joe Barnes. Uh, 
for 2022-14. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. I'll make a motion on 22-15. I'll second. Motion by Jason Bullock, second by Joe Barnes to approve resolution 2022-15, the loan security agreement for the hospital. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carried. Okay, so let me be sure that we are not doing 13 as well as Ohio County. Yeah, they did that first. Okay. I did. Yeah, yeah, it was 13. That was Sam and Joe. Okay, I have Sam and Joe as 14, and we just did 15 after that. No, Larry and Joe. And then Larry and Joe. And, and then Jason and, and Joe. Larry. Joe did all the seconds. Who did 13? I did. Sam Who did 14? Okay. Got it. <laughs> Who's, who's on first? Who's on second? I don't know. Just, just, just put some up. Uh, okay, bid opening on the Mack truck. Who has the bid? You got it, Miranda? No, we didn't get one. There you go. Who's got it? Ann's got it. We got one. We got one. Yeah, let's go to the next one. Okay. Let's do personnel then. Uh, Miranda, if you can bring it up there to me. You got that, Miranda? I got that. All right, you don't have to move on now. Duplicating my notes here. <laughs> 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 Who had it? I didn't know. I thought we had the back truck thing. No, it needed to come to our office. Oh, okay. I was going to take one pass on it. Be okay. Did, have we uh, sold the other back truck? Yeah, it brought more than man. You parked him up. Forty thousand. We made money. Forty thousand. I believe forty thousand. Yeah, we made forty thousand. Make forty grand. You sure did perfect. What did we make after the cleaning up and uh, the sales? Man, it's Christmas. You're turning red. I love it. I mean, how much did we make? How much did we make? Not uh, the cost of talking about the cleaning up and the sales. Uh, oh, I don't know. That at least half of that. I just know that, yeah. that it, it came in at over forty. They were so surprised hey, they sent us an email. Back here, you match for for it. Sure no, she, she, she keeps charging stuff to them that we never make any money. But now you're going to find probably when you open this bid, then my crux is going to really do it. Yeah. 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 But the thing is, be like those caterpillar yeah. backhoes. Okay, I'm going to put it for hire. Uh, in maintenance, Jerry J. Bailey is a building supervisor, full time, rate of pay $15 an hour, uh, starting uh, effective uh, 10 3 21. Uh, it may not be scheduled that quickly because he's leaving another job, but I want ready to go work that quick. That's within the way she gives code. I don't know anything about it. Oh, yeah, it said it was. Oh, okay. thanks. Uh, roll call. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Cam? Yes. Small? Yes. The next one is one, uh, I'm, I'm gonna move on so case Ann gets back in time. I'm gonna put this one last so she gets back in time for that one. Um, and uh, over to the courthouse, we've had an awful time keeping anybody to uh, do the uh, uh, cleaning over there. You know, we had that 40 hour position over there. We haven't been able to get anybody, but we have another one to try. And his name is William L. Waters. Part time, eleven thirty three an hour, up to twenty hours a week. Effective ten three twenty one. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. Uh, yes. Johnston. Yes. Cam. Yes. Small. Yes. Uh, the next one is the road department. We have Drake. Burden, a grade one, full time. Uh, no, I'm sorry, seasonal. Season. Season. Yeah. I'm sorry, seasonal at fourteen eighty two an hour, effective ten ten twenty one. Yeah, is that within the wage code? Yes, For the record department. Mm -hmm. It's just the beginning. Uh, Bullock. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Johnston. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Small. Yes. And we, we are running them all through and just double checking to make sure we are getting our wages right on our just 
do the fact you know I think the make a uh, misprint on the paper right you know. I will I will go back and go back make right double here. sure but yeah. uh, it will be a lot of trouble to get all that uh, well, I know we'll, we'll mean it if not but I'm, I'm thinking it was checked wasteful. over closely Joe okay. yeah, yeah I just did I just want to make sure everybody oh, yeah. matter of fact yeah. matter for everybody and everything matter of fact help me remember from now on I mean to have a brief wage scale meeting before I bring these up and forgot it tonight with everything else going on. Well, and the motion price is a hard to put along with the what you know current wage scale yeah. unless we change it. Then you say but, yeah. Help me remember from now on we always <coughs> give these to the wage scale. I don't think that would happen. We get wrong. But if you say that in the motion, then you okay. know that's what's going to happen. A couple other people looked at it and then we would keep uh, consistent. And, and here's the one that the committee has been working on for weeks and weeks. They've done interviews last week. Interviewed five people for this job of inmate recovery coordinator, and the committee gave to me this name, uh, and uh, of uh, Jimmy A. Cantrell, uh, inmate recovery coordinator, full time, at the rate of pay of sixteen sixteen, and I plan to have him here at the next meeting. Meet all you guys. So, roll call. Yes, uh, how long was this job like? Four years. The four years four using years. the ARPA money. Yeah, and I certainly wish him the best in his undertaking. He certainly got a heel to climb, mm -hmm. one, as well as the people that that are on math. So, yeah. Now, how are we gonna how are we gonna monitor this position? I mean, you know, make sure that we're he, happy with the. I mean, I, he, I don't, he's going to give us. He's going to give us reports at least every three months and maybe more often. You'll be coming to the yeah, fiscal court I mean, meeting and leave yeah. that off. This is kind of a, a new endeavor. So oh, I just wonder how we were. Yeah. He's going to give you this full court report. I, you know, I mean, and, uh, it, it's not feel bad on, and, you know, I don't know how you're really going <coughs> to show necessarily that you're putting out the effort, but at the yeah. same time, I think there should be some other yeah. way that we double check. I'd like, like, like to take that even a little bit further and, and see some numbers after three six nine months or whatever absolutely and every three months they to come in and give us an update what kind of numbers what kind of success success he said what kind of figures i'd kind of like to know just to be informed okay. well just they ought to be put in his contract and he gives us a quarter report kind of like we'll see that we have a quarterly report you know supposedly. Yeah, like you say contract is it yeah. well or not a contract but okay a job you know i think him coming from the state just the conversations i've had with him he is used to having to track numbers right. and keep those stats, so I don't where, think that's going to be. He, where has he been from? Where's he been? Where's he from? <laughs> West, <laughs> West, <laughs> West, West, West Liberty. West Liberty is where he last lived. Oh, um, that's a state. Uh -huh. Eastern Kentucky. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, oh he's from Kentucky. He retired oh, yeah. from the military, then from the Department of Corrections. Both. Oh, he did. It's 20 years of Department of Corrections. And the, this is the program that he worked in this you know, last year. Kentucky is pretty blandish. You know, so. No, but he said it, he's actually said we were nicer yeah. uh, than Eastern Kentucky. Kentucky. Hey, we'll talk about it more. Let's do a roll call. Did y'all talk to him all the Yes. Barnes. Yes. Johnston. Yes. Count. Yes. Small. Yes. You could inject a little humor in. Oh, I'm not wrong with that. Okay. Mid. But uh, the bed on the Mack truck, opening that. Uh, uh, opened it. Sam. Uh, worldwide equipment. And I uh, thought I would need some glasses to read his number, but it was big enough that <laughs> oh. I didn't need it. Triaxle. Triaxle, is it? Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, 156569 dollars Does anybody remember what the last year's was? Any? Mm -hmm. Uh. 140. Was it the 140s? I think it, I think it was. I didn't bring it This is still less than that other one brought at auction. I'm thinking it was right at 150 also. I'm thinking it was in the I was 140. That's what I was thinking. Can we ever have any luck? Didn't, didn't someone uh, uh, find out that they're, they're maybe going to start a program for single axles? Yeah, it hasn't happened yet, but yes. They're working on it. Oh, that's great. They might be Kenworth. Well, I don't, I don't care. Well, that, that Kenworth we got's nice little curve. Well, you got yeah, two, yeah, you got two of them. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think they're, yeah, they're Sam, can you give me that number again? Do what, ma'am? 156 what? 
Uh, David's got it. I've known you, I think, but David's got it. There it is. Yeah, you, you, no, we're good. good. She's got it. And, and uh, the motion, uh, Sam made the motion, right? Yeah. And Joe seconded it. Well, and I'll allow Ann to write the check. $156,569. No, you did. Uh, I didn't take your second. So, uh, roll call that one. Big number. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Cowan? Yes. Small? I reckon. So we only have one big <laughs> Yeah. So, never is for one. Well, I just thought that was going on. Miranda, can you write down, I reckon, instead of yes? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> everything you all said. Who, who has exactly what the new other one brought? Was it 100? I haven't gotten anything yet. 186, 196, something like they that. They said it was 40,000 over what we paid yeah. for. It's 190 some thousand. It was exactly the amount know? that other people wanted to pay. You don't know? I haven't gotten no any. Uh, now, we don't always make money on them, but uh, this, 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 is time, this is the first time I think this is Okay, committee reports. Oh, you don't know. Uh, I want to. Well, uh, I got the money. I'm going to. Uh, I get the money. You know I'm going to give you a quick COVID report. And I'm going to point to committees real quick, and then we'll get other committee reports. Uh, COVID report is we're doing awful. We're the worst in the seven county area, and it almost directly correlates with uh, the number of vaccines. I'm sure there's other, and this other thing we'll tell you we're the worst in probably relates to some health concerns as well, even though lots of young people involved, our death rate is worse than anybody's in the state. For the number of case, new cases we get and the number of people that die from them, uh, it's, just, uh, it's just terrible. Uh, and uh, just in case, I, I'm still optimistic that every day that this is going to get better. But just in case we have to look at our workforce again and how we do things and work differently, just in case, I want to appoint a committee to, to meet sometime, maybe just uh, for the next meeting or whatever, or, or y'all can meet by the phone or whatever, to kind of throw around some ideas on what we will do in case we had to, do, had to go back to that. Uh, I want to appoint Sherry because she's here and she I need somebody from the from the uh, Baylor station, so she's here, so congratulations, Sherry. Uh, huh. Yeah, and I'm going to go ahead and put uh, uh, Cassidy on this one. And I need at least one magistrate. Did I see anybody's hand go up? I'll be on it. I don't care. There you go. Okay. Larry, 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 Larry Morton, Morton, you said he was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, put Larry on. Yeah, Sam then, okay. And then uh, Charlie Shields. I, I think Bo had his hand up. That's, I seen Bo had his I hand up. Yeah. His point is Charlie. Um, Don't worry, Judge, I'll serve you. Okay. Okay, well, that's the, that's one new committee. And the other one, I don't know what to call it, but you guys have accepted already. I'm going to appoint uh, Larry Count and, and Joe uh, Barnes as a. Uh, uh, they're going to look into, help me for the right word. I don't know. To look into a possible uh, solution uh, to our problem with their, with their Greta board. They're, they're going to look into the Greta board situation. Try to work. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's really great. Yeah. So well, those are two new committees I've reported. And now I'm asking for committee to report. Right. Did any other committees uh, meet during this time since we met here last? Charlie's got his hand. Judge, uh, communication board or committee that you appointed? Yes. The sheriff couldn't be here tonight, so we asked to put off the bid openings for the communication until the 12th. Yes. For the Harper money to be used for some of it. Uh, we already, we're already trying to get all of our ducks in a row, so we bring it here to present it to y'all. Uh, we think it's going to come in a little bit higher than we initially done but and we'll have all the numbers and all the stats ready for y'all but you know basically this county we're the fifth largest county in the commonwealth and today no matter if it's fire police or ems we're only covering about 75 percent communication wise especially up in larry's fourth district really hurt bad and Jim, joe's in center town we found a way to solve that problem but we're going to present the map and everything 
on 12. Good deal. One other committee related thing. The, uh, of course, the, the committee on the uh, uh, Arbor Review Committee is going to meet at 4 o'clock before the next court meeting. And department head, our leadership team members, you should be here. If you have things involved, you should be in it. So, uh, and we're also meeting, since we're on that, ARPA is meeting at yes. 2 o'clock, October 8th. Yes. So, like I said, if you guys want to call, have suggestions with Ann or something like that, and then we can bring them to the, the 4 o'clock meeting on, okay. uh, and then the way everybody could be there, because that so was a... I got a question on that, Jason. Yes. So, the bid openings that we posted in the newspaper for that, do we need to bring them in front of that committee first, or we bring them in front of the physical court on the 12th? I think, away. I think that's, well, that's already been talked about the radio side, and so that doesn't really We've already talked about yeah, that. Yeah, so that, that. Yeah, that's already been okay. approved, so you don't have to, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. it, that's, we're talking about anything new and hasn't been approved. That's been approved, okay. so you can bring that to court, yeah. Yeah, the park has some, some things on there, so Where I think they should be there. You know, I know. Hang on. Any other committees, please? Uh, if not, we're ready for a commitment for the magistrate's uh, comments. Thing. Uh, yeah, I just want to say, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that's, that's getting COVID right now and it's getting pretty close from home. Uh, we've lost some good folks this week, uh, some really good folks. And, uh, you know, uh, as much as I hate to say it, you know, uh, a lot of it could have been avoided. So uh, just ask to remember everybody out there that, that is affected in all of our first responders because they're facing it every day and uh, and just use your head uh, I ain't gonna tell nobody to go get vaccinated but by all means it's there if you would you needed to consider it uh, because it is real and uh, just look around uh, you you see people with good health that's dying every day but they're not vaccinated so that's all I got to do okay uh, Jason, I'm sorry. Right, you, you know, I kind of agree with Sam. I was just going to say, you know, it's it's tough out there. Please look into it, and I think that's the only really way to kind of get over this. But uh, other than that, you know, that's all I have to say. Right. Yeah. No, thank you. No, uh, nothing. Just time. Yeah. No, Judge. Thank you. Uh, okay. This uh, this uh, meeting is adjourned. I want to see Joe and Larry discuss.